All right. Today, folks, I just wanted to give a bit of a quick rundown, a bog pill, on how to use hotkeys effectively. So, to start with, I've got my TC actually bound on tilt. So, if you go your hotkeys, put a selection group hotkey, and you can actually rebind group zero, which is normally on zero over here there now you can rebind that to being there now if you do that that already puts you one step ahead because you basically got a hotkey further over to the left right near your left hand which is the hand you're going to have on your keyboard the whole time so that's already a winner you want to do that to not only to select but also to add you want to hold shift which comes after shift shift for some reason and to create which is control and build comes after this life you can even go as far as to worrying about removing all that sort of thing if you really want to but i don't really fuck around with that sort of stuff that often so i don't really mind but anyway another thing about my scout on one so it's just easy to get to Really, really, really close to the other button, so it's really easy to switch between both keys. So that's probably the most basic, most fundamental sort of thing, because it allows me to scout and macro quite easily. I don't even need to go there. Actually, that's probably the best woodline I can see from here. So I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm playing the champion mode versus bots, so I don't really care how this actually goes. This is more just a Give you guys the bog pill. I probably should have taken that earlier if I, straight away if I actually wanted to get the tech. Now I'm probably going to have to resort to skipping it. So look at getting a barracks or something. Most kelp players would probably look at rushing one. This is kind of just a muck around build. I'm actually going to play probably pretty rush intensive. Just to put a bit of pressure on the bot. But anyway, the other things that are probably next most important are your army hotkeys. So I'll get into that in a sec. But anyway, basically, you want to have it sort of right in the middle of your, your keyboard or where your hand's going to be. Because you're going to need to access it a lot, click between the keys a lot. Probably want it quite close to product in between or close to like your production, your macro, and your scouting so setup I've got it's not necessarily optimal but it's just one that I find really comfortable to use another thing is if I want to get say quick hunting dogs I'll often bind pretty much any key near near one until so you know any of those early keys so I can force out the quick tech as soon as the building pops and as soon as I hear it, I haven't moved my hand far at all. But having this on five is a little bit far from this, but at the same time, getting used to having your hand sort of spread across that distance is good because everything in the middle conversely becomes super easy. So all of a sudden, all the difficulties you had of being able to micro units go out the window. So if I got another hunt somewhere, I'd, I'd do. I'm gonna take this quick and play really. Rush oriented style here. It's not necessarily the most optimal. Eerie can laugh at me. So I actually, one thing I did there was select all army. Now that's a bit of a cheeky thing to do because like you saw I had to actually reselect my scout to get him to do something else because he got selected in the process. What I really should have done was press the button, control click the unit I wanted to select, the spearman and then select him in the destination and bind him to an army hotkey in that time as well because then I'm set up to actually use the unit independently not have to use all army control but in order to actually do that I can't even remember what the hotkey was um, but under unit can you oh, I can't remember general game it's in here somewhere but anyway there is a way here we go so under the find unit hotkeys I've actually 
and select idle villagers. I rebound that to F1 and select the line to F2 just out of Starcraft habits. You can bind them to whatever you like, whatever's going to be easy. Have them somewhere near your control groups as well. And, and blah. Away you go. But anyway, I'll go back over what I was just saying. So I can do this, select these. Press F, press two. Now that now they're bound once I've actually bound them. So I'm free to go after having pressed control two. Sorry. Oh my god! Why didn't you deposit? No, don't do this at home, kids. This is awful. Actually, it's not too bad if I can. Temp my villages properly. Okay, what? Okay, he's got towers. Alright, this isn't going to work. But anyway, he's got early towers. I have no idea why he's got that many towers early, but... But it doesn't matter, because... We pretty much buried uh, another TC. But anyway, guys, that's... I guess most of the fundamentals. All I can really look at doing now... Is going over the army hotkeys. Why do I have so little food? Oh, that's right, I went for a silly tree to your build. So the beauty of control groups, if you only click once, you don't actually lose your position, you click twice, you go back to where you want it to be. What do you know? So if I go do this, I can unbind one, unbind him, reselect her. So that's another little trick you might not often use, but might come in handy from time to time. I have no idea why I'm getting this much food. So you can shift click onto the building, but the problem is they've all got to wait for them. So what most high level players actually do is just garrison and just using alt click. Now you see that icon actually pop up instead, total entry instead of say the deposit icon. So that's so that's alt. This is terrible. What the hell am I doing? Actually, I can just about take this. I don't ever do this because I'm cutting village time, but I'm against a bot, so it might be okay. But anyway, actually, I got a crap ton of spears. What am I doing? I should have really pushed out quicker than this because really, realistically, you should get like seven spears. Ah, uh, not seven spears, three spears and push straight into the base off on, off the single barracks. But I'm going to try and do the big play actually. Is that many? Three and four. Now I usually fill these ones up first, and then and then two. Because I often, if I'm playing Norse, I have my scout down of two. Now if I had, if I was smart, I'd have had these queued up onto the, one of them onto say two, one onto say six, or one onto six, one onto seven. Because then I could have taken the upgrade straight away without a fuss. And realistically, you never want to float this many resources, but this is the middle of the night, and I'm kind of just giving you guys a bit of a rundown. So, the AI doesn't really even want to move out just because I've put pressure on him, even without actually doing anything. Now, most players on the ladder actually play like that too, up until you get to the advanced level. Now having these bound independently is nice because say I'll bind up a couple of different unit uh, building types and as you see if I want to get to any one of them I've got to actually tab between them so when you're going from thing to thing say I've actually got to get the storehouse inefficient so realistically what you only want to have bound on your main production hotkey is your actual and don't do that what yeah what you want to have bound Is just your main production facilities, and if like if they're all the same type, they're obviously going to stack up. So that's not a problem. But if you want to say take a market, might not work. But I know two is free, but I've lost her. So go chuck her in two and send her for a wander. Send my scout for a wander. Have any of those earlier spears? But 
between four or three, so you can go on three. You can go on four. Now this doesn't even have to really do anything. The main purpose of this is just to show you guys that I can get from A to B relatively simply. And then I tuck the market down. I obviously need to practice my actual hotkeys a little bit better myself. I'm actually one for selecting units out of habit. Because sometimes you can actually get away with doing it if you're able to buy yourself enough time with your harass. You don't need to necessarily play mechanically perfectly either. Because I'm definitely far from that level. But anyway, I've got this on 8 now. And say I wanted to get over here. I really should take quick age 3. Don't have the gold 2. But he has a single spear. Now, what I really could have done there is found the units. Alright, well, I accidentally lost that group, but I can just chuck them on the number next to it. No loss. Now if I'm going to get them a market, it's over on 8. So it's a bit far away. Other players might want to chuck it near the TC. They might have their production facility, say, on tilled. Their TC on 5, their market on 6, for instance. What I like to do is kill, actually. If I'm going to go for, say, macro grows, I'll throw them all down. Find a whole bunch up. They'll go on a different tab to, say, my military. And then if I actually want to take offensive groves to get druids out of, get upgrades out of, they go there. So, they're my, mac they're my aggressive macro. Oh, lost them. Goodbye. Say I was actually harder than I thought it was going to be. But anyway, a bit of a quick guide. I'm going to get this siege. Oh no, oh no, I'm Kelp. Actually, what I might do. Say if I want to get these, get some proxy buildings. Might chuck them on 7. Often if I'm playing north and I've got an aggressive outpost. Oh, watch, yeah. Watch post, sorry and I want to try and get, say, War Dogs out of it, I'll chuck that on 7, then chuck my main pro uh, production back on 5. So anyway, guys, that's a bit of a quick rundown. I'm kind of not really paying any attention here. I'm about to get rushed and killed. But it's all good in the hood. Cheers for watching.